Empress Virgo of Empress Virgo to Row back again with another reading. This time it is a romantic love reading for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. For whenever you guys happen to click on this reading and it resonates with you, then the timeless love reading is for you guys. As always, thank you for supporting the channel. Thank you for watching the content. And for those of you who have purchased my book, thank you. Life is not a dress rehearsal. I thank you. And I thank those of you who would consider purchasing it. Thank you in advance, okay? So, as always, take what resonates with you and leave the rest for someone else. We're going to get started with some channel messages, so let's get into it. Divine Holy Spirit, what channel messages do you have for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placement? <laughs> I used to be a playboy or a playgirl in my past. Maybe that's you. Maybe that's the person that... You're thinking of or with or are coming into union with Ooh, child. okay so let's see divine holy spirit what romantic love messages do you have for gemini sun moon rising and venus placements for whenever they happen to watch this romantic love reading as always, like I said, take the messages that resonate with you. Leave the rest for someone else. Gola Jack, the hangman, Miss Ida, Four of Wands, the Devil, the Moon. Y'all, I'm speechless. It's like, what? Four out of six cards so far are Major Arcana. Two of Wands, Ace of Pentacles. Wow. And the Star card. Of raw energy, the three of swords. Whoever you were dealing with, they had a lot to sort out for themselves. Um, it's like they wanted to be with you, but now you're going to have a new opportunity with love with someone else. It's because this person was so flaky. They didn't appreciate you when they had you. Damn. Um, it's like... They let something or someone take them away from you. Uh, I don't mean to say it like that, but that's what I keep feeling. It's like when you thought you were getting a start with this particular person, uh, they could be a Pisces, because uh, double Pisces, Pisces, sun, moon, rising, whatever. Whoever this person is, it's Pisces somewhere significantly in their chart with Gullah Jack, that's the hangman. And Miss Ida, that's Pisces as well. So, the high priestess. Y'all, I feel like you may may have given this person several chances, like to they just sort of get back in your good graces or come back to your home if you live with them or were married to them. But they kept, they were, oh boy, they were caught up like in worldly things. I put it that way with miss robinson that's the devil energy it's like they were always were looking for something that you couldn't give them or demons were always i don't really like to use that term but they always had some type of codependency issue whether it be with drugs alcohol or whatever the case may be i feel like this person didn't really want the stability that a relationship or a marriage could provide them they wanted to be out on their own it's like they like the benefits of marriage, but it's like the pull of the streets always had them going. And it's like they, they really couldn't decide to stay with you. Uh, it was like they were, it was too much back and forward energy, Gemini placement. So it's like you made the decision for them. You had to, you were at a crossroads with them and they were at a crossroads with, with you. But I feel like some of y'all are just going to choose to let it be and go on and move move forward with your own life with this new beginning it's like they put you through so much and it was so much heartache 
and trauma because they were, like I said, they were they were pulled to the streets or what they thought they can get from someone out there in the streets. If if y'all know that term, older people say that they like to be out in the streets like an alley cat. I'm just saying that's not what you wanted. You wanted stability. You wanted home a home life with them, you wanted a marriage, but they were always called to the streets. And I feel like now you're just taking a new opportunity to move on and heal yourself, to focus on your children if you have them, focus on yourself, focus on rebuilding yourself because this person, whoever they were, they were just draining and taking too much out of you to be with them because they always felt the pull of the streets. And I'm not talking about working. I'm talking about is either their street life, you know, I'm not going to even get into all that. Or they wanted to be with other people and still have you at the home or, or in their life as their significant other. And that wasn't fair to you. Wow. Let's see what else. Ooh, child. Spirit has for Gemini placements concerning. It's like y'all in this, this stage of moving on, trying to heal, trying to. You heal that heartbreak and move forward. Anything else for Gemini placements concerning this situation, spirit? Anything else? I hope whoever this message is for, you're not internalizing what this person did in the relationship with you as it it reflecting on you because it's like they had some type of internal issues that they were dealing with that they had to fight. It wasn't about you. You know, it was some stuff that they needed to work on. Okay. The reason why they were doing whatever they were doing. Okay. Keep picking up on that. Let's see. Anything else? I guess not. Okay, that okay, spirit. So you summed it up good. All right, let's see songs to a song or two for Gemini placements for this particular situation. This one was wow, it's like, eh, for some of y'all, y'all knew that the relationship wouldn't last too long because it's like. The more you wanted to love them and wanted them to be at home and, you know, involved in family life, they um, were drawn towards the street. Now, ain't this something? The Chain Smokers by uh, the Chain Smokers featuring Kelsey Ballerini. This feeling in this song, she is talking about being in a like toxic relationship or being drawn to someone, even though everyone around her is telling her. This person's not good for her, but that's what it is. This person was a playboy or a playgirl. And I feel like y'all either been listening to this song or you need to go and listen to it because it relates to what you're going through or have been through. And it can help you to during your healing process. Okay, Gemini placements. So that's all I have for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the reading. If you did, give the video a thumbs up, share, subscribe, join our tribe, hit the notification bell, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.